All right, welcome back, everybody. I got the camera zoomed in here pretty uh, closely. Uh, there's the sleeping giant, but this right there behind Carroll College, that is the smoke plume from the Colt Fire out around the Sealy Lake area in the, uh, the Swan Valley. 96 degrees in Helena. Great Falls, look off towards the west. You should be able to see that smoke plume coming right over about the Augusta area. 92 right now. Uh, off towards the north. High line up into the 90s, 98 in Missoula. The wind not so bad, some gusts up to about 20 miles per hour are occurring in western Montana. Now the eastern part of the state, under a heat advisory all the way until midnight, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Prolonged heat, got a couple of isolated thunderstorms out there, but let's take a look again at the fires evacuations are happening that to green on the radar is the smoke plume and again it's heading out now right around the augusta area We've got evacuations along highway 83 avoid that area please uh bowls creek fire in the sapphire mountains that's the smoke plume maybe a couple little isolated showers uh, out there and uh, here are the isolated showers and thunderstorms well south of helena that was a good thunderstorm for parts of the Boulder Valley and a couple little showers and storms with some lightning strikes out here around the east end of the little belts and the big snowies. Northeast Montana, we have a couple isolated thunderstorms come through the overnight into tomorrow morning. Lightning strikes here in the west and those fires are going to start to increase here. The temperatures have started to increase and it'll get hotter tomorrow. An isolated thunderstorm in the mountains, but Sunday, a little bit of this cloud cover starts to sneak in. We'll have a few isolated thunderstorms too. The cloud cover may keep southern Montana a little cooler, maybe from breaking records, keep us from reaching record levels. And then Monday, partly to mostly cloudy with a few thunderstorms coming through. Lightning strikes, but these storms will have rain as well. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we could have some serious wildfire danger, red flag warning conditions with a lot of winds. Temperatures will be coming down Wednesday, Highs in the 80s and the 90s, and Thursday were more in the 70s and the 80s, but we will have a bunch of wind. A couple isolated thunderstorms coming through late Thursday, and then Friday we could have scattered storms across the state. There's the wind, not so bad Sunday, but Monday and then Tuesday into Wednesday. That's a pretty windy stretch here for a lot of the states. Not good after all this heat and with low humidity those days. Tonight, not as cool as the last few nights, not uh, as good of sleeping weather, if you will. Here's the forecast for tomorrow, even hotter, upper 90s to near 100 degrees. Everybody wants to chill out, go to Lewistown, only 93 degrees. Sunday, a little of that cloud cover in the southern part of the state will keep the temperatures a little cooler up towards the north and the east. Heat advisory, low 100s. Then Monday, the wind picks up. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies with a few thunderstorms. And then Tuesday, here's that front going through with a lot of wind. The temperatures will be dropping as we go through next week. However, we'll have that wind to get through.